everyone. This is Anita White with Love Your Art, and we're back today with another video. We had so much fun with our swipe and spin, and I had leftover paint, so I said, okay, let's try it on a round canvas, and that's what we're going to do today. We have a 16-inch round, and we're going to use some of the same paints that we used on the 12 by or 16 by 20 inch that I did just to see how much fun we can have with this. And remember, we have paints that are mixed with um, two parts Floetrol, one part paint, no water added. And that includes our base, which we will be using to get started. This is the Mars Black by Liquitex Basics. And we're gonna kinda start with this as being a what of a puddle, puddle core for our center. Just spin that out a little bit. And we will need to use more, of course, as we prepare our colors. We're gonna use the, um, hmm, how about we start with we can start with brown. This is the burnt umber. And I'm just gonna do this in a circular pattern. Ooh, it's really thick, guys. And I'm gonna do some other colors to enhance that. So I'll actually, let's do the parchment. This is parchment by Liquitex Basics. That was burnt umber by Liquitex Basics. We got some bronze in here. Again, we're just playing with these colors and giving ourselves a chance to really have fun. How about we throw some red in there? This is that cadmium red deep hue. See if we can get that to really show up. We'll throw in some, um, we got, oh, how about silver? And we'll do some yellow. Got this gorgeous burnt umber. Got some black, which is the base color. I'm gonna pour that around. We'll be using that along with this gorgeous copper. Let's see, is there a oh, we've got gold. Got a lot of paint here guys. We're gonna use it all up if we can. And hopefully have an outcome that we really like. A lot of paint, a lot of fun. All right, and we are gonna use our copper, our pearl white by Amsterdam. And this is again with the Australian Floetrol and it's one to one ratio. And I'm just gonna make fun with what we have in this but we want to torch first. We got a lot of room to work with here. It's a lot of fun when you can make a design that you build on. Okay, and we're going to take and give that a chance to work it out. 
That's the pearl. I'm going to do some black. Black cell activator oxide black. And again, remember our colors are listed in the description box if you need to refer to them on each video. Also, if you haven't done so, go ahead and like and subscribe. It would be a great time to do it now. And uh, hit the notification bell so you can be informed every time we have a new video upload. All right, so you're gonna do this beautiful black cell activator in here. Okay. And we got a bit of an opportunity for some of this to develop. Let that happen as we are torching. I'm going to give this a opportunity to spin a little bit and see where it takes us and determine how much we need to have by way of paint, if any, added. Very possible we don't need any. Wow, look at that. Look at what we got there. Whoa, and that's one big spin. Super beautiful. All of this section here did not get covered, and of course we've got some around the edges along the sides that we need to work on, but we're gonna do this again, opposite direction. See how much paint has come off and where it's going, where it's taking us. This is super pretty. Oh my heavens, that is going to look beautiful with resin. Simply gorgeous. Now it's a raise, it's raised a little bit because it's sitting on some tape uh, on top of the um, canvas there. I'm going to do a general spin around this way. Um, see if we can capture some of the other side where the paint isn't completely covered. These cells are opening up even as we speak and the abstract design is starting to really pull itself along as well. You can tap this out without overspinning. I'm looking at that and going, wow, do we stop now? Or do we do it one more spin? I'm looking around to see what the sides look like. And if we can manage to cover up the sides, we'll stop spinning. See here, we got a little more on this side that needs it. All right, we'll take a chance and just do one more spin. Making sure that paint comes off. And things are opening up. Whoa. Oh my gosh. That is so fabulous. Oh yes. We are not going to spin anymore, I don't believe. I'm just going to use what I can to fill in the sides here where there's just a little bit of canvas showing. And if we have to, we will take in, put a little black in there on top here. So, fill that in, tap these out, okay, everything seems to be getting coverage, and that's what we want. This is too cool, you could not have possibly painted this and gotten all these effects in, in the places that we see it. I'm loving that I did not lose my cadmium yellow deep hue. Um, my cadmium red is in here. There's just streaks of it, even though I put tons of it in there. 
I bet it creates a lot of opportunity for cells um, to develop. So we can see the colors in the cells. I'm going around and just taking this, turning this so that I can ensure there is coverage around the entire canvas. We don't have any white canvas showing. That is beautiful. I hope you like it. I'm trying to use up the leftover paint and at the same time create a design that will allow us to really appreciate these beautiful colors as they appear. Tons of colors here, tons of fun. Believe me, this is a lot of fun. If you haven't done so, try this out. Okay, simply beautiful. There's lots of tiny cells lacing in here, beautiful streaks of color coming through in an abstract fashion, really helping to accentuate the overall design, separating some of the cells, some of the lacing, some of the colors even. There's dark, there's light, there's medium colors, just a blend of beauty right in this piece. 16 inch round, that's what we have here. We're gonna bring you in for a close up so you can see and We'll also keep an eye on areas where we might have a little canvas showing that we need to uh, ensure that we cover before this is brought to a complete rest. Okay, we've got our pan brown stick to assist us. And I will utilize that as we're going around to Make certain that we've got coverage all the way around. Get a chance to see it as I'm spinning it around. See what we've got by way of beauty, then we'll do a close up. All right, could not have asked for something any better. Just beautiful. Close up time. Here we are with my friends, close up time. 16 inch round with these beautiful colors that we blended together. So, so amazing. You can see the cell activity. You can see the striations along with the lacing. This is quite the piece. Lots of fun, lots of uh, effects in here, giving this piece an absolute opportunity to showcase beauty from each of the colors that we placed on the canvas, giving us an opportunity to see it all come together. So, so, so pretty. There's cells, lacing, striations, there's movement, lots of, um, I should say, merging of colors that even have blended and made new colors. Very rich, very, very pretty. A 16 inch round made with multiple colors and giving us an opportunity to really see them all come and converge on one canvas. Let me know what you think in the comments. Again, this is a swipe and spin on a 16 inch round with absolutely gorgeous colors and the outcome is so very pleasing. We're going to take this and show you how around it went around as much as we can, the sides here, making sure we get everything captured, all the colors blended well, giving us an opportunity to see unique effects throughout. Let me know what you think in the comments. Join me again on Anita White Art. And we look forward to seeing your awesome creations with us as you participate in this awesome, fabulous, outstanding, spectacular, wonderful, amazing art journey with us. <laughs> Until next time, keep loving your art. We'll see you on the next one. Bye now.